in fact i used to think that the best definition of bliss is permanent happiness till i got a better definition given by swami himself again this happened to another research scholar sanjay mahalingam swami had called him and in the interview room swami asked him directly what is bliss sanjay is well read in all these scriptures and the texts and everything so he gave many many beautiful definitions of what is bliss swami kept saying no 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 not that not that and finally swami himself gave a definition such a beautiful perfect definition swami said causeless happiness is bliss when you are feeling happy ask yourself why you are feeling happy why am i feeling happy i'm feeling happy because tomorrow i'm going to go on a vacation to the himalayas that is not bliss because it has a cause why are you happy i don't know i'm just happy that is bliss causeless happiness is bliss and that comes only in union with god that is the reason why great devotees of the lord nothing affects them whatever be the difficulties in their life they are there as examples to show that let anything happen bring it on you can't take away kharch na khute chor na loote that's what mirabai said you can't spend it nobody can steal this every day it keeps growing